side of your, over your left shoulder and go in the rectum just like that okay the first thing you want to do once you get in there is she's most times she'll be full of manure you want to kind of clean her out so that you got room to work with this cow doesn't happen to be very full so I think I can do it without it but just to show you pull it just like that okay you want to make sure the tail stays on the left side otherwise it's going to get in your way and you're going to be fighting it the whole time okay so I'm going to go in I'm going to locate the cervix first of all okay and this cow is not in heat I can tell you right now <laughs> But I found the cervix, so I know where I'm at now, okay? So you're going to come back to the end of the, of the, uh, the rectum here, and you're going to make a fist with your, with your hand. You're going to make a fist and kind of turn it out. See how that kind of pops it out there? That way you can see where your gun's going in. You're going to take your cloth, your paper towel, and you're going to clean it off. When I say clean, I mean kissing clean. It's got to be as clean as you can get it. <laughs> so you're going to wipe it down as much as you need to. Once again, make your fist. See it pop out like that. Grab your gun. Go in at a 35 degree angle. And then go back. Go in straight. Okay? She won't like it very much to begin with, but she'll get used to it. So you just kind of work your gun in there. Right there is the cervix. I'm against the cervix right now. If this cow is in heat, and I'm not, and she's not, so I'm not actually going to do it. You would grab the cervix with your left hand, and you put the gun right up against the opening, using your thumb to kind of find the opening. And you would actually place the cervix over the gun, not the gun through the cervix. When you get, when you feel it pop through, you usually have between three or four holes, uh, kind of. It'll feel kind of, you just kind of work your gun and your cervix in concert. When you feel it pop through and you'll feel it, you put your hand, your finger, your middle finger, right at the end of the cervix and pull the gun back until you can barely feel the gun through the cervix. Push the plunger. And you're done. Pull it out. Make sure you hit the right pull. Close everything up. Pull your sheath off. I just screwing it like so. Pull your sleeve off. Squeeze the air out. Tie it off. And you're done.
is important no matter how large your herd. But the dynamics of large herd operation make dependable, durable equipment especially critical. Any loss of momentum means a loss of money. The benchmark of De Laval's leadership in the industry is equipment that is professional in appearance and especially in performance. Sometimes, depending on the time of year, we might use an iodine mixture instead of water. You can kind of see not a lot of these cows are real dirty right now, so usually water is just fine. Right? We're having some kind of mastitis problem. You know, we might dip with an iodine solution, but I'm just going to spray them off here. Zoom in on this cow down here on the end. This is uh, one of these, we talked about heifers in class, guys. Um, she's a first calf heifer, so technically she's a cow now, but uh, she's only been in the barn probably a couple weeks. You can kind of see how her udder's still a little swollen. She's really dry, and I'm making sure I get to the ends where the street canal opens up really clean, okay? We don't want any bacteria to get up in there while I'm milking the cows. You can see they're kind of moving around a little bit. Notice I'm not doing all the cows on one rag. I'm switching it up here. So I just do one unit per teat. You can see here she's ready to roll. That milk is down in the bottom of the udder and it's coming through here. So you can see that through the window really easily. I'm just going to go right down the line and put all these samples on. This cow here probably wasted too much time talking. She had that milker on her a lot faster. You can see it kind of lost the milk on the ground there, which is not ideal. Like different fore and rear udder attachments. They all look a little different. 
And then these ladies are done. So I'm going to open this gate and I'm going to turn them on out. Hopefully you guys remember. Uh, what's, what do you want to do with dairy cows right after you get done milking? Well, we want to feed them. We want them to get right back out and get eaten and making more milk for us. So I'm going to let them go eat their supper. And open this gate here. And we're going to send them out the door. It's in the pickup. Okay. It's like 625. holes at a time. These are curved. What are they? 28 degree? No. 28 to 45 degree street elbows. They seem to work better than anything else. But it makes holes pretty quick. Pretty uniform.
Thank you.